Hi everybody, I'm Cherie. How are you doing today? Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, my dog Gizmo just decided to get his toy. And uh, of course it's a noisy toy. He never gets one that's not noisy. So it's his little round ball that he likes to play with, the little red one. So I'm sorry if that annoys you, but he won't play with it for very long. I think as a matter of fact, he might have it stuck right now and he can't get to it. <laughs> But anywho, um, I'm glad you're here. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, I very much welcome you. If you are new, I very much welcome you also. And uh, if you hit the subscribe button, just hit that little notification bell, and it will let you know when I put uh, new videos up. So anyway, uh, today I thought we'd do some devotionals. I'm trying to get this camera fixed. I don't know if the light's good or not. I always have to fiddle with it. Um, today, I thought that we would do... I don't like that white wall back there. I feel like it's distracting or something. Here we go. Uh, today, I thought we would do a, a devotional out of The Power of Being Thankful by Joyce Meyer. Okay, that's the devotional. And here... It's ISBN number and stuff from this book. Uh, but it should be pretty easy to find just by putting in the title. Uh, this is a devotional for June 24th, even though this isn't June the 24th. Um, I just went through here and tried to find one that I thought was nice, just kind of thumbing through. And it says, God does not forget you. And if you have this devotional, it's on page 175. Um, let's see. I better put my reading glasses on. I actually have them this time. My last video, I couldn't find them. <laughs> okay. In Isaiah 49, 15 through 16, it says, Yes, they may forget, yet I will not forget you. Behold, I have indelibly imprinted, tattooed a picture of you on the palm of each of my hands. You know what that is. It's nails. O Zion, your walls are continually before me. And the devotion says, Our faith increases when we understand that God remembers us. We can be grateful that we are never forgotten. He keeps one eye on us all the time. It doesn't matter if others have forgotten us or abandoned us. What really matters is that God never will. He remembers all of our prayers. He keeps our tears in a bottle and does not forget the cry of the humble, poor, and afflicted. If you want more on that, you can see Psalm 56, 8, 9 through 12 also. We may never understand why some difficult things happen the way they do, but no matter what happens, God is still God, and he has not forgotten you. He has your picture tattooed on the palm of his hand. And that is true. I mean, it's so easy sometimes to feel like we're alone that... Uh, that no one really cares or the ones that should don't or that we're just fighting this whole battle alone and that is not so uh, god is always with us and uh, it's easy to forget that sometimes that he is he's always always with us so we don't need to don't need to worry about that uh, because he is always here and um, also also <laughs> i uh I got out my women's devotional Bible. This is an older Bible, new uh, new international version. Here is the ISBN number on it. Yes, I think that's the ISBN number. No, I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong tag, didn't I? This tag, someone. And. Uh, <laughs> it's all stuck. Um, okay, hang on just a minute. If I don't get it, he's going to keep on blooping over there. Let me pause this. Okay. Now, uh, out of this devotional Bible, this one here, okay, I am reading on um, page 796 in Isaiah 43, if you happen to have this Bible. <laughs> Oh. 
This one is called You Are Precious. And it says, as a teacher teaches best by sparking curiosity, so a friend encourages best by kindling self-worth. Recently, a dear friend was talking with me about her struggle to realize her own worth. The other day, she said, I was so frustrated with my slow progress, wondering if I would ever really learn to be kind to myself. Then I thought of you and another friend who have affirmed me for so many years, believing in me when I didn't honor my own opinions and feelings and making me feel special when I didn't place much value on myself. And I suddenly understood something that's helping me be more patient with myself. I realize that you've loved me a lot longer than I've loved myself. So you're better at it. I know... I know where that kind of love comes from. And I know that in time, I'll get better at it too. What a privilege God has given us to love one another. When the Apostle Paul instructed us to observe whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy, and that comes from Philippians 4, 8, if you want to look that up, um, he handed us a delightful set of tools to carve self-worth into, into the lives of others. As we see and affirm these positive qualities in our friends, our friends begin to see the source of all that is true and excellent and praiseworthy. And soon they begin praising their lovely creator by becoming all he meant for them to be. And I know that I have friends that encourage me and I try to encourage my friends. Um, you know, we need to encourage each other. Um, I feel like it's crooked. It's a little bit like now, ain't it? Um, we need to encourage each other because um, life is hard sometimes. We've been talking about that on here, that life is hard, and we um, we need all the help we can get, you know. Um, it is a struggle, sometimes day-to-day -day struggle, to try and uh, be the best us we can be, to be positive about ourselves, to not just think of negative stuff, but think of positive stuff. It's so easy to be a negative person. So easy. And so much easier to be a negative person than a positive person. Sometimes you have to really look for the positive. You feel like some days it's like, is there a positive? Of course there's a positive. You just got to look for it. It's there, I promise you. Um, I didn't think you'd play that toy this long. I apologize. I hope it's not annoying. Um, but anyway, we have to look for the positive because uh, if we don't, I'm going to scoot you up closer. I feel like I'm yelling at you because I'm afraid you can't hear me. Uh, not too close. <laughs> I'm going to scare you to death. Um, but we need to uh, be friends, a good friend to others. We need to acknowledge them. We need to support them. We do not need to be a yes person to them. We do not need for their own benefit to just tell them always what they want to hear. If we feel it is unbiblical or not good for them or they aren't thinking clearly really, um, we need to be good friends to those kind of people and we need to let them know that we're there for them. But if we have an inkling that, you know, what they're doing might not be best in a nice, kind way, <laughs> let them know, you know, here's the other side of that. This could go this direction instead, you know. Have you thought about this instead of what you were going to do or what you've been doing? Maybe that would be a good way to deter them away from what, what, they're about to do that may cause them harm in the future, emotionally or whatever. So just do it gingerly. You know, you don't want to, I don't guess you don't want to holler and shout at people, but you know what I mean. Just kind of, just kind of urge them to go, kind of nudge them along, you know. Um, and they may need to do you the same way sometimes, but you have to keep an open mind. And, you know, in the end, we have to decide for ourselves what's best for us. 
we're not always going to make the right decision. Uh, and maybe even perhaps your advice may not be the right advice. You know, God knows the situation beginning to end. We don't. So some things, things happen for a reason. So, you know, God's way, of course, is the best way. And sometimes it's hard to know what that is. But as long as we can be an encouragement to others, that's what we need to do. And we need to try to stay on the positive side. Things are negative enough in this world that we don't need no help finding anything negative, right? But the positive, yes. We need to concentrate on being positive. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, not much going on here. It's cloudy here today, as you could probably see in the... Ref uh, well, no, you can't see uh, a reflection from where you're at. When I'm over there on the couch, you can see the reflection in that picture behind me, but you can't see it today because I moved over here. Uh, but anyway, I thought maybe give you a change of scenery a little bit, but I'm not sure this is a good spot to be in. Um, anyway, um, it's cloudy here today. It's not it's not very sunny at all. It uh, It's rained, but we needed the rain. Our grass is just crunchy, crunchy, crunchy whenever you walk on it. It's, it looks like it's dry and it's brown in places. It's not uh, bluegrass. <laughs> But anyway, we did need the rain, and it's good for my plants and my elephant ears that are out there and stuff. So we'll take it. We'll take the rain. I think next week it's supposed to be down in the 80s, and we'll take that too. But anyway, uh, we've been working over at the campsite, or Oscar has. We've had some guys building us an addition to the deck that we had already had put up. And uh, I have not seen it yet other than in pictures. So when I get over there and we get everything set up and everything, I'll try to film you all a video of it. Uh, some people have asked to see the camper and stuff. So I'm trying to wait till I get it done. And pretty soon it'll be pretty much done. So uh, most of our work will be done and we can start enjoying it, hopefully. So anyway, that's what we've been doing. Um, Oscar stayed over there for a few days while they were getting the deck done. And uh, he's home now, and he's got to take care of some things here. And then uh, eventually we'll make it back to the campground, I guess. One or both of us, however it works out. Uh, probably be both of us because... Uh, what are you eating? Oh, it's your cookie. Okay, you're good. You're good. Good boy. Yeah. I give him these little biscuit cookie things in the mornings uh, for his treat sometimes. Uh, and uh, so he saves it. He saves it. He don't need it all the time as soon as you give it to him. He'll save it. And we were gone to the campground one time, and he had put his, uh, his little biscuit underneath the couch in there, just a little bit underneath, just enough where he could grab it, but, it, you know, it was underneath the couch. And uh, anyway, as soon as we got home, he ran like a maniac behind that couch to see if his biscuit was still there. I guess that bothered him. The whole weekend we were gone that something was going to happen to that biscuit. And Betty, he made sure that biscuit was still here when he got in the door. And I just thought that was so funny. I never really noticed him do anything like that before. But he sure did keep tabs on that biscuit while he's gone. He knowed where he'd left it at. <clears throat> you know I'm talking about you, don't you, Giz? Yes, Mo. Hey, you concentrating on that biscuit off hard, Betty? Is it good? Licking your lips? <laughs> oh my goodness, aren't our animals a lot of company? I swear, I don't know what I did before I got him. People say that about their kids sometimes, but I'll tell you. I don't know what I did before I got my giz. Um, anyway, that's what we've been up to. So, I hope you're enjoying your summer. And uh, school, I guess, will be starting soon. A lot of people are homeschooling, not sending their kids to school. And I can understand both sides of that fence, so... Uh, anyway, just stay safe and uh, enjoy your family and your friends and try to be positive. As a matter of fact, this week, why don't you try to just notice when you're being negative? Just kind of make a mental note that you've been being negative. Like, you know, you say something that's like, oh, that was negative. I shouldn't have said that. I could have said this. You know, and when you start making a mental note of stuff like that, you really realize how negative you have been and can be. Yeah, I've done it too, and it's like, wow, I never realized how negative I was. It's like, if you can't say anything positive, don't say anything. That'd be the quietest I've ever probably been, because I'm, I was so negative, and I am negative sometimes. And uh, we just need to try to get out of that habit most of the time, okay? 
So anyway, I think you're all the bomb. And remember to live, love, laugh, and laugh some more because laughter is the best medicine. And I will see you back here hopefully very soon. And uh, enjoy your day and stay safe. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.